Welcome to the Weekly Anchor, a moment set aside for some encouragement. Hi, today I'm going to be reading from Joshua chapter 4, verses 5 through 9. And he said to them, Go over before the ark of the Lord your God into the middle of the Jordan. Each of you is to take up a stone on his shoulder according to the number of tribes of Israelites to serve as a sign among you. In the future, when your children ask you, What do these stones mean? Tell them that the flow of the Jordan was cut off before the ark of the covenant of the Lord. When it crossed the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan were cut off. These stones are to be memorial for the people of Israel forever. So the Israelites did just as Joshua commanded them. They took 12 stones from the middle of the Jordan, according to the number of the tribes of the Israelites, and the Lord, as the Lord had told Joshua, and they carried them over with their camp where they put them down. Joshua 4 verses 5 through 8. This is really a reference, um, a biblical reference for making an altar for the Lord, a way to memorialize what he has done. Um, in this story, he had cleared the water so the Israelites could pass, and he wanted them to remember this moment, how he had been faithful. Um, Today, as I'm recording this, is March 9th, 2021. It marks exactly a year from lockdown and exactly a year from when this was considered a global pandemic and a state of emergency. Um, And so this date will go down in history. Our children, our grandchildren may someday ask us, Do you remember what happened on March 9th? Do you remember how it felt? Um, And so I don't know about you, but as the weather is starting to change, I'm going back into those feelings and emotions that I had. Um, There was definitely feelings of fear and uncertainty. I remember when the grocery stores were empty, wondering what if we ran out of food? Um, Wondering about safety for my family. We didn't know a lot about the virus at this time. Now we know it is serious and deadly. Um, but it was a big mystery to us at that point. Um, so this spring, while we're welcoming warmer weather, we may have a mix of emotions this year as we remember last year. So I've been challenging myself when I feel these emotions to be reminded of the Israelites and making an altar um, to remember God's faithfulness. So, um, you know, as we pray, it's easy to have a list of requests for God, of needs, It's not as easy to remember what God has done. So that's my challenge for us this week. Um, Maybe even as the weather is warmer, think about what was I doing last year and what was I praying for God to do? Maybe it was job security. Maybe it was safety. Um, Maybe it was making sure you would have enough food. I know each of us has different experiences. Um, I don't want to diminish any difficulty. I know we've all had our challenges. But I do think we'll be encouraged when we look back at what God has done in the past year, in the faithfulness that he has given us. um, You know, when I think about the needs I had, I never went hungry, even though I thought I might. Um, My grandparents were safe. They're now vaccinated, even though I have one that's in assisted living. Uh, My family is all safe. So there's a lot that we can be thankful for. And I just want to encourage you as we hit this milestone to make an altar to the Lord to remember March 9th, 2020. How has God been faithful to you since then? If you feel so compelled to share it with us, um, you can comment below what is an answered prayer that God has done for you in the past year. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Have a great week.